friends in this video we are going to learn how to troubleshoot faults in star delta starter in this video we will take some main important points if you check these points you can find faults in any star delta starter so let's start video and first see how star delta starter works after that we will learn how to troubleshoot faults in working when start push button is pressed so main contactor and star contactor is pick up after timer timing complete star contactor will stop and delta contactor will pick up so it is very simple working of star delta starter and for stopping a starter you need to press stop push button okay when stop push button press your starter will stop now let's learn how to find faults in star delta starter okay if you are starting and stopping star delta starter multiple times so your motor will start in stop so first you need to remove rybi wire in main contactor also in delta contactor because if you starting a stopping multiple time of a starter so your motor will be burn or motor will be damaged so for troubleshooting first you need to remove wires from main contactor and delta contactor of motor okay after that you need to check rybi phase in main contactor okay if you have tester so you can check with the tester rybi in also in delta contactor okay in all rybi phase tester should be glow okay so you can check rybi manually if you have multimeter so need to check voltage okay voltage should be approx 400 okay in all three phases okay if voltage comes proper that means your contactor is okay no faults in contactor okay you can check in delta contactor rybi phase should be 400 okay in vb yb also 400 so main contactor and delta contactor is okay now after checking contactor now need to check control wiring okay so first we need to check overload relay because line wire first connect in overload relay nc point okay so first you need to check overload relay okay if you have multimeter so for checking multimeter please stop the supply control m because in multimeter we will set continuity range okay so for continuity if your overload relay is okay so it is showing beep okay beep sound also if your overload relay is trip then no sound will be showing and it is showing open if your nc is okay that means it is showing continuity okay and if you checking this voltage by tester so power on and you can check tester in 95 number point it should glow and it 96 because it is nc in normal condition tester should be glow so you can check nc point with multimeter also and also by tester when you check by multimeter so multi power supply should be stop now third is concept is check nc push button and no push button okay because this is nc push button okay so for checking with multimeter power supply is stop now in multimeter continuity range is set in multimeter it should be showing continuity okay if continuity is showing that means your nc push button is okay now if you checking with the tester so in tester it should be glow and output of the nc it should be showing current okay and it should be glow in both the terminal okay now nc terminal is okay now need to check no push button okay for checking multimeter please switch off mcb now it is checking with continuity range now no or both probe is connect on no now when push button is pressed it should show continuity okay now no element is okay no fault in no element for checking with the tester power supply is on now no input terminal supply comes continuously when push button press so it should glow in no output terminal tester okay when push button will press then your tester will glow and also in some cases if your push button top is not proper working okay you can check push button top when you press so it operate element if your push button top is not proper working so first you need to check push button top both no and nc and third is when your contactor is main contactor is not holding okay so how to check holding now when holding is not working properly 
so when you press start push button your contactor will not main contactor will not hold okay so for checking holding first check nc output terminal the supply comes continuously after that need to check main contactor no terminal because holding supply comes with this main contactor no terminal okay so when push button is pressed so it should hold when main contactor is operate so this supply comes in this no output terminal and it should connect to the contactor coil okay for checking multimeter multimeter connect in continuity range now both flow on no terminal when contactor operate contactor press manually for checking okay when you press contactor manually it should show continuity okay if not showing continuity that means your contactor no is not working properly now next one is if your star contactor is not operating okay so what you need to check if your star contactor is not operating first you need to see control wiring okay first line wire comes in main contactor this main contactor to line wire comes in timer okay so first need to check supply in timer coil okay timer is operate need to check supply in timer coil okay and need to check supply from timer common point is coil supply is coming so we connect one connector from coil to common point okay if common point supply is coming so when timer timing if you said 5 second so for 5 second okay supply comes from common to nc okay if timer is operate so common supply comes in this nc point okay so please check supply in nc okay if nc supply is coming so please check delta contactor nc because we connect delta con use delta contactor nc for holding supply so please check delta contactor nc terminal when delta contactor is stop then supply will pass and operate star contactor okay so first check timer nc after that check delta contactor nc then star contactor will operate and if your timer setting is too low okay because star contactor operate for timer setting if you set timer setting is too low that means star contactor will not hold okay timer setting is too low that means your delta contactor will pick up directly okay so timer setting should be approximately 5 to 7 second and in some cases need to set 10 second so please check timer setting if timer setting is too low then your star contactor will not pick up your motor will run directly in delta okay if your delta contactor is not picking so what you need to check if your delta contactor is not picking motor continuously run in star connection okay so when your timer timing is too high okay when your timer timing is too high that means supply not coming in no terminal okay in working when you start if you said 10 seconds of so for 10 seconds supply comes in nc point after timing complete nc supply will cut and it comes in no point okay so first to check no point supply coming or not okay if supply coming so please check a star contactor nc because we use star contactor nc for interlocking if star contactor nc is okay now your supply should be connect in delta contactor okay so first check timer no point after that need to check star contactor nc point if your both condition is okay your delta contactor will run and also check timer setting it should not too high okay i hope you clear the concept of high to trouble shoot star delta starter if you like this video please press like button for today's in